Hi, Elliot, Sarah from the upcoming. Fantastic Hi. to meet you. And so what can you tell us about the BIFA Awards? What, why is it so important to celebrate and recognize British independent film? Well, you know, our American colleagues have so much marketing money. It's so easy to near, hear about a, an American film. But our films here, I'm Canadian, by the way, our British films are so much better oh, than the American schlock or whatever. But it's so hard to get people to see them, to know them about it. And we're hoping that this year, our 20th year, that finally, when people see that logo on a film poster or TV, whatever, they'll go, oh, it has some value. A bit like the Mercury Awards, I still respect, have done for music. Discovering new talent, discovering you British people, your own talent. You should be proud of it. It's the most diverse, the most exciting cinema in the entire world. And the list of films being honored tonight are the envy, surely, of any nation in the world. I don't care who you are. If you're a film executive in America or Japan or France, you must scan this list and go, oh my God, those Brits have got, I think, what you British call a leg up on us. Is that what you say? <laughs> but I think 2017 in particular seems to have been a fantastic year for British independent film. And even at the box office, there's been some, you know, Lady Macbeth, God's Own Country. So do you, do you think that it's something that's, that's really in good stead at the moment? Well, British film, I think, in 2017 has reached a tipping point, both in terms of content and audience response and box office. But I might add, not only in Britain, this very dull, damp, dirty, dark, and snowy island, but also in other countries around the world. You know, uh, British film is one of the major exports of this nation, and deservedly so. I mean, this is fine product, you know? So let's, let's tonight just celebrate. That's what tonight's all about, having a damn good time, meeting long lost colleagues that maybe you've only seen on Facebook or Twitter or the telephone, Skype and getting together, having group hug after group hug, lifting a glass up to all this amazing talent here in the UK. And is there any particular film or particular talent that stood out for you this year? I can't name anyone, but we do Raindance sponsors the Discovery Award, and there are five exceptional films, exceptional filmmakers who may well be causing a huge flurry at the end of the catwalk in a year or two. And, and uh, big expectations for tonight? Are you really excited about this evening? <laughs> I just hope it gets over with, I mean, often it's kind of a rowdy event. You know, people cry in the toilets and every year there's simply one or two people end up in a police station not knowing how they got here. Uh, but if we survive the night, no, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Just the buzz in the room. I always listen to the buzz in the room. It's always very special. Fantastic. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Very satisfying. Thank you.